In today's show, we have a story about Mr. Brock and a stand-up with Miss Van Gordon. Hey, Vikes, I'm Jessica. And I'm Haley, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Junior applications for acceptance into the Seaman High School Internship Program are available on your Class School G page. If you have any questions or are interested, contact Mrs. Noble. There will be a preseason informational meeting after school today for anyone interested in participating in track and field this spring. Some of you may have seen a new teacher, Mr. Bach, around the building. We want to learn more about him. Hey, Vikes, we have a news teacher story. This one is about the new freshman teacher, Mr. Brock. I teach Excess 101 and I'm actually the long-term sub right now, replacing Mr. Ruta. I am actually under contract through the end of the school year, and then after that there's nothing official yet, but I hope to be back next year. Um, this is my first uh, teaching job, unless I get accounts student teaching. A student taught at Great Bend High School and an elementary school in Great Bend. I would say Seaman's a little bigger than most of the schools I'm used to, although this is my first teaching job, so student teach my student teaching school was a little smaller than Seaman. I graduated from Great Bend High School. Mr. Brock plans to coach track and football. My classroom was located on the very south hallway of the freshman center. I would have to say a Coke Zero with vanilla. NFL, obviously the Chiefs, Super Bowl 54 champs, and college, I have to go with K-State, the blind side. Probably pizza. Kids that don't read the directions on assignments and then ask me what they're supposed to do on the assignment. Make sure to welcome him. Attention seniors, stop at the counselor's office and see Ms. Conley to verify information for diplomas and any information on scholarships. Tomorrow, during activity period, there will be a golf meeting in Mr. Reinberg's room and a meeting in Ms. Martinez's room about Spanish 2 and 3 next year. Tickets for the Battle of the Bands are on sale during lunch this week. Visit the tickets table in the comments. We have a stand-up on Miss Van Gordon with Allie about Kiss the Pig. Let's go check it out. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Molly Biggs to talk about Kiss the Pig. So what is it? So Kiss the Pig is a fundraiser that we do every year. This year it's going to Second Chance Animal Rescue and it's um, basically a competition between teachers so you have to raise money um, so it's like teachers go head to head and if you want to donate money to a teacher you put it in a little jar that's in their classroom. Okay. Awesome. So which teacher gets saved? So the way that it works is whoever raises the most money in the head-to-head -head competition, the other teacher that loses has to kiss the pig. Okay. Awesome. If you want to save your favorite teacher, make sure and give them money. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to raise money for your favorite teacher. Now over to Sports with Jessica after this quick commercial break. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. February 20th. Blast off. With the Battle of the Bands. One night only. Sweet intergalactic rock and roll. Knock you out of your orbital rotation. Featuring all of your favorite bands. Live in the Seaman High School Auditorium. Untamed Mustangs. Crybaby Green Beans. Dragon Shredders. Moto. Right side down. Tickets on sale during all lunches beginning February 12th. $3 in advance. $5 at the door. We'll sell you the seat. But you won't need it. Because you'll be floating in zero Gs. All night, night long. long. Proceeds benefit the SHS Thirst Project. Friday's game at Emporia is Hawaiian. There will be a preseason informational meeting after school today for anyone interested in participating in track and field this spring. Seaman FFA is hosting a hat day February 24th. In order to participate, you will need to bring in $3 or three cans. Today at 1.15, Susanna Mosqueda will sign a letter of intent to play soccer at Benedictine College. Congratulations, Susanna. Congrats to the boys swim team who placed third at league, scoring 390.5 points. Now let's go see what the weather will be doing for the rest of the week. Good afternoon, Vikings. Tonight we do have a slight chance of snow. Not much snow, though. 
and by this weekend it will be warming back up into the 50s. Nothing much will be happening tonight until we get later into the night. The temperatures will continue to drop drastically and this is also when we are expecting snow. We are not going to be expecting very much, only about a trace to an inch possible. The, tomorrow is going to be very, very chilly compared to the rest of this week. And by this weekend, we are expecting a little bit of rain. This rain will continue as we get into next week. Now back to your anchors. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow we'll have a story on girls wrestling. Have a great rest of your day.